maybe she's got something for us. Couple more questions, if that's okay. Wow, we haven't been to here in a while. Have you seen this before? Don't take any notice of that. Why? James Wilson is a fantasist. He spends his time pretending to cast Sorry, spells moment, in the folks. woods. He's not exactly a stable person. And, um, I heard that he was involved with growing cannabis. Really? Well, don't quote me on that. So you don't think there's any truth at all to this? None at all. Do you know anything about this? No, sorry. Ask Ryan. And he's in the middle of class right now. What do you know about doll burning at Atlas? Only that it's part of the course. I'm not entirely sure what they're for, but I made dozens for him. You made them? Oh, Ryan can't make anything. He's practically dyspraxic. But then why does he have all those guitars? Does Ryan play the guitar? <laughs> he tries. He does keep wasting money on them, though. I think he believes if he buys the right one, he'll suddenly turn into Jimi Hendrix. Sad, really. I just let him play in his room. As long as he plays in there, I don't mind. know anything about hypnosis used on the Atlas course? Are you sure you mean hypnosis or the power of persuasion? What's the difference? Not a lot, but if you want someone to do something, it's usually easier to ask nicely. Atlas used persuasion techniques. Well, don't all businesses use it, Inspector? Ever heard of advertising? Okay. I am, uh... Huh. Ah, uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. Anyone at the restaurant? Nope, just the ghosts. There's a couple of things. If there's anything I missed, a few more with questions, you guys. please. What do you know about Ryan's guitar collection? I know he plays because he tried to buy one off me. Do you play? I used to. I used to be in a band, but I was a singer as well, so I got away with it. Singer as well? <laughs> yeah, I used to sing in a band every night. But, uh,. Sometimes it was in a pub, but usually at Rebecca's. What was that called? It was called Blackstone. And uh, this guy from the rock That's company Liam's wants band. him to see us. And he said the Liam band was rubbish, but that I was good. Like so after that, I don't think they liked me much. And then we broke up after college. Can't hide talent. Okay. All right, let's go to Liam. Yeah, didn't know Liam very well, but we know for uh -huh. a fact that that's Liam. That band you sang in, Blackstone, who else was in the band? Um, just a few people from college. Including Liam? Yeah. Why did you say you didn't know him? No, it's, it's not that. I just thought you meant that I didn't know about his suicide. Did you? No, I was... 
<clears throat> away on a holiday. When he died? It, yeah, I only knew, knew him through the band. She definitely knows more than she's saying. She was in a band with Liam, but didn't know about his problem? I'm not sure I believe you, Emma. Hmm. Oh, the flower will at college last year. Hmm. Yeah, she's we've caught her in several lies. In a row even. I saw Kate on Friday, not Thursday. That checks out. Similar course before. Close before. Oh, the catch. Did I flyer? Here's the Atlas flyer again. Maybe, uh, Liam's death. And, uh... Damn. Hey, yeah, there's, the pieces are there, but we can't put them together quite yet. Uh, maybe Ryan... Once offered to buy Emma's guitar. It has to be a direct contradiction, whatever we put together. Didn't see Kate very often. No, because Kate wasn't in the band. Gave it to Kate, but didn't see Kate very often. Oh, okay, no, that's not, not a direct contradiction, apparently. Over. seen the mask before.
Be Good back assignment. later on, if that's okay. What do you know about Ryan's guitar collection? Uh, not a whole lot. I know he brought a guitar to one of the groups once, at the end of one of the stages. That's the only time I've seen him with a guitar. Hmm. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. Damn. Go back to Atlas, see if we can't ask your Ryan. Left, oh! Left. Okay, we... Something happened. Yanks is bald. Who knew? No wonder he wears that hat. The DVD. That's all they took. It must have been deliberate. Someone clearly wanted that back. Nice and helpful of them to leave a piece of evidence behind, though. Okay, we have something now. We have something. Okay. All right. This is progress. It's progress that took something, a vital piece of evidence away from us, but, uh... But it's progress. Go to Atlas. I didn't think something like that would happen because it hadn't advanced an hour. Damn. Okay. Tag using monging from monarch costumes. Yeah, that's what I thought. That is what I thought. Okay. Because... Uh, ask you a couple more things, please. He mentioned monarch costumes. Have you seen this before? No, I don't think so. You don't recognize the shop? No. Is there someone else who works at Atlas? Someone who may have been there tonight? No. There's a cleaner. Comes at strange times, but then he's a strange boy. Is that Kyle? Work experience. As a cleaner. Well, we did try him in accounts, but it didn't work out. Okay, doesn't know where the bag came from. Where is the mask? Masky mask mask. Yeah, there we go. Do you visit Monarch costumes a lot? No. I used to go in there occasionally. Why? But you do know the shop. Yes, of course I do. You see, Paul... I thought you said you didn't know where this bag was from. Well, maybe I do. This was used to put over my head, Paul, by a mugger. Would you like to tell me something? Please suggest something that I had something to do with your mugging. Did you? You really ask the most ridiculous questions. Of course I didn't. So why did you lie about the shop? Well, um... I didn't have anything to do with your mugging inspector, but I might know somebody who did. Go on. Did Ryan mention Jason to you, the cleaner? Unfortunately, Ryan at some point told Jason that the DVD mustn't be removed from the site. So, when he saw you take it... We didn't mention the DVD was that taken. He was doing us a favour by uh, getting it back. He isn't exactly what you'd call one of Darwin's best examples. So what's on the DVD that's so special? All right, it was something I did myself, a little stunt I pulled to amuse the students. What kind of stunt? I pretended to steal from the students. I emphasised the word pretended. The students knew all about it afterwards. Everything was above board. Steal from students? Why? We were doing a piece about pushing the limit, so I decided I... I would show them how it was done. Oh, don't look so serious, Inspector. I returned everybody's things immediately afterwards. No harm done. And when was this? Last year sometime. At Third Eye or Atlas? Third Eye, I think. And this was before or after Liam died? Well, since you'll probably find out anyway, it happened to be on the night that Liam died, as it happens. Before you ask. No. Didn't steal from him. Do you think it's a good idea to encourage students to steal, Paul? 
I wasn't encouraging students to steal. Policemen are so literal. Life well, is shades of They kind of have to be. Much as the force might like it, it doesn't divide neatly into blacks and whites. Now, if you don't mind, you'd have to excuse me for a moment. You know where the door is. Don't let it hit you where it should have bit where the dog should have bit you. It forced us out. I see he was quick enough to claim he didn't steal from Liam. What kind of stunt was that anyway? And Liam dying later the same night? It's just all a bit too suspicious. Hmm. Alright. I think I'll ask the Thompsons about this. Hey, Simon. A few more questions, if you don't mind. You seen this? You know the shop? Yeah, yeah, I know the shop. I hired something from them last year, I think. This is for a party, I assume. Yeah, yeah, something like that. What do you know about Paul stealing money from students? Part of a stunt or something? What, did he do that? I, I've never heard about anything like that. No, it might be part of the risk-taking thing, though. Explain that. Well, it's it's part of the course. You have to do something dangerous or risky, uh, something you wouldn't normally do. Something dangerous? Well, not dangerous, just, just risky. Like, um, saying something you wouldn't normally say to someone, or uh, doing something unusual. Like stealing from other students. Why? Well, we didn't do anything like that, for. You have to tell everyone at the end of the course anyway. And you're not allowed to do anything that would hurt or offend anyone. Or you're not allowed to do anything really bad. Wait, it's so you pretend, have to do really. something really risky, <sighs> but it can't hurt or business. offend it someone. It works, though. Well, did you do something risky? Didn't he say something about, uh, we don't force you to do anything? Thank you. Good, Emma. I'll probably be back later. Do you uh, know the shop? Have you used it? No, but I know where it is. Okay. What do you know about Paul Rand? Paul the Slime. You've obviously met him then. <sighs> yes, I have. What do you know about him committing a fake theft during one of the courses? What, about him going through people's bags? Yeah, he tried that thing on me as well, weirdo. So you were at Third Eye? Yes. Yes, I, I went there for a few months after college and I left because I hated it. And I didn't know Atlas was the same thing. And I went with Simon. Does Simon know that? <laughs> no. I didn't want to burst his bubble, so I didn't say anything. So he doesn't know you went to Third Eye? No. Ah! So is that where you met Ryan as well? Yep. Right! What, uh, what didn't you like about the course? Well, it was just... It was stupid. They just made you do things to other people and be abusive just to prove that you could, and I absolutely hated it. Yeah, that does sound pretty awful. Oh, just stupid things. Nasty things to prove that you could do it. It was about not feeling guilty. And it was horrible. That's why I left. And is Simon doing all of this stuff now? No. 
No, I, I think they had to stop because it was just getting ridiculous. I think somebody got arrested or something. Very interesting. Okay. What is it? Third Eye, when Paul heard this, pulled the stunt. Timmy. Holiday the night. Uh, yeah, uh, because it happened. Back with ribs and husband bees. So you nice. witnessed Paul's money stealing stunt, is that right? Yes. Because but Paul you admits there that Liam it happened died. the night that Liam died. No. Don't quite understand that, you see, because Paul pulled the stunt on the same night. Liam died later that evening. Um, I, uh, I must have mixed up. So you don't know anything about Liam's death, Everyone even though you were there a horrible on that night. Liar. Mm, no. Emma. I think you better explain, don't you? Well, I think getting mugged course, suddenly it? makes everything Go start going forward again. Well, we were all told to do stupid things, and and then that thieving thing happened, and so... Take a breath, Emma. <sighs> Liam killed himself because of me. Wait, what? Why? Um... Liam had a, a birthmark on the side of his face and no one would mention anything even though we all knew it was there and we all thought they all thought it was ugly so I thought I'd say something and I I even asked Paul if it was okay to say it and what did he say? he said he wouldn't mind Then Liam killed himself. Liam said because of me. Well, Emma, I'm quite sure you regret what you said, but I really don't think you caused Liam's death. There's always more to these things than meets the eye. It wasn't your fault. The we can't tell Simon. Jinxie, because... I don't think it's our place to say Simon that. doesn't need to know. Don't worry. Thank you. forward. Nine o'clock. Poor Emma. I suppose it's possible that what she said led to Liam's death, but I really doubt it. I blame the Rands before I blame her. Alright, I need a flashlight before I can do anything there. in the pub. Ding, ding. Uh, a few more questions, if you don't mind. Have you seen this before, anywhere? Well, I know the shop. A costume shop just outside the village. Ever used it? Not personally, but I think Ryan might have. What is he... What is it that Ryan's buying at a costume shop? Is he buying his masks there? Did you know about... Paul's money stealing at Atlas. Are you talking about a particular incident or just in general? It's something he did on the course. Stunt. And what did he do exactly? Oh, well, he pretended to steal from the students. That doesn't ring a bell. Paul's stunts usually involve throwing fancy dress parties with scantily clad girls or women dressed as nurses. That's his usual fetish. When was the last party he threw? Um sometime in the summer. I didn't stay long. Hmm. No, nothing about that came up earlier. Thank you. So we, Probably be back later. I don't think we have anything there. Let's see. Anything other than ghosts in the restaurant? Nope. Just ghosts. Restaurant that caters exclusively to ghosts. Alright. Couple more questions, if that's okay. Do 
you think Emma's criticism of Liam on that last night led to his suicide? I doubt it helped. Did you encourage Emma to criticise him? I didn't encourage Emma to do anything. I merely told her what we tell every student to do, to express themselves as they want to. It would be out of order to criticise them after that, wouldn't it? However, I didn't expect her to criticise his birthmark, if that's what it was. That's a decision she took herself. So you didn't know her well? No, not at all. Hardly knew Emma. Let's see. Freedom. Where's the... Aha! Success! You say you didn't know Emma, uh... Yet you bought her a freedom necklace. I don't remember saying anything about buying Emma a necklace. So you didn't buy her one? So you did buy her one. So that means you must have known her, and quite well too. Stop making such a big thing about this, Inspector. Look, I've been around a few years. The clock is ticking. Tick and I admit oh. I have a, an embarrassing weakness for attractive women. It was a stupid mistake, but that's all it was. So it wasn't so Ryan who gave it to her. Who tried it on with her? Him. No, I didn't try it on. I bought her a necklace. I'm not aware that there's a law against buying presents unless, of course, the Third Reich has been elected while I was at a bridge party. Emma was old enough to make decisions for herself. And, as a matter of fact, she decided that she didn't want to be bothered with an old fool like me. So, nothing happened, no mistakes, nobody got hurt. All right. Like father, like son. No surprises there. I wonder how many students Paul has tried it on with. I can't mention it anymore because, because there's... didn't work. Wait, Paul violated Godwin's law. Hmm. Let's try to date Emma. This doesn't use scrying on the course, but not used in the course anymore. He insinuated you were a Nazi. Nah.
gather some more bricks. There. No. Go to the farm. Ding, ding. A few more questions, please. Thank you. Seen this anywhere before? Nope. Nope. If there's anything new by the greenhouses. Unavoidable and not expect. Okay, I'll uh I'll check that bit here in a second once I get done with these greenhouses. How many shots of him just wandering around this village they had to do? Ask you a couple more things, please. Okay, let's see. Bim's death was unavoidable. Yeah, he didn't say anything about not expected. Claims all students enjoyed the stunt. Expect him to criticize the birthmark and no, that's not it. Be back later on, if that's okay. Nope. Can't fit those puzzle pieces together, unfortunately. so we can't do anything. Where can we get a light? I think that as a police officer investigator, he'd carry a light around with him. I think that. He really would. Still nothing here. Go into the woods. 
there. Get the jetty. Further into the woods. Clearing. Nope. Is it just me, or are they just putting a blue filter over top of things to make it look like it's getting darker? Oh wait, investigation. Flashlight. One of those little itty bitty it. ones with the no, LED I lights never in it that are super one. bright. Don't shine that. <laughs> Jenks, why would you shine that directly into your eyes? Okay. While we're here, I know we finally have a flashlight so we can go check things, but while we're here, let's double check and make sure if there's anything else we can do. Into the atrium. Wow, I've been streaming for over three and a half hours with this. Let's see who we can rub the flashlight on. Ryan! Ryan! Oh, you're finally answering me. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. I've got lots of things to ask you about. It isn't worth asking Ryan about the red torch. It was orange a second ago. Okay. Let's ask about the doll burning because so we haven't tell me to more about this in a long while. Doll burning? It's a symbolic ceremony we perform every few weeks on the court. What's it about? It's about burning your old personality and finding a new one, a better one. So, so you try to replicate the are... velvet room. You. They represent you from the past. Each doll has a picture of the student, a child or a teenager. Uh, and they burn the doll and symbolically destroy their old personality. It's quite simple but effective, I find. And why did that girl shout? Because it's an emotional thing. She... <laughs> She's quite clearly become very attached to her doll. They do yes, spend with her very the passive, first month with them. We tell them to take the doll everywhere shout. with them before they actually ah! go through the doll burning. And you believe that's a good thing? Destroying your past? Of course it's a good thing, Inspector. We're all shackled to our past, particularly you by the sound of it, perhaps. Perhaps we should make a doll of you, Inspector, and burn that. What do you think? No, thank you. You're probably right. I'm not sure it would do any good anyway. Uh huh. Interesting. Can you tell me about autohypnosis? No. Well, what would you like to know? Do you use it on the course? We dip into it occasionally, but uh, it's not a major feature of the course. I would say that. Well, a minority of the students know how to use it, but the majority wouldn't know and have a clue. It's not a requirement of the course. No, not at all. We don't, we don't ask people to do things that they're not comfortable with. There's no bribery, Are you serious? no coercion. Uh, we're thinking it's about phasing what you were talking about. hypnosis out, actually. What's the reason for that? Uh, well, to be perfectly honest with you, Inspector, it doesn't actually work very well. Okay, interesting. Hmm. I didn't realize you were a musician. Oh, well, I'm not really a musician. I mean, I, I, I dabble a little bit. To be quite honest with you, I'm far more interested in collecting guitars. You're not in a band. Uh, well, I, I did audition. I did audition a few years ago. Well, I say a few years ago, of course, I mean about 20 years ago. <laughs> Doesn't time fly? <laughs> what band was that? Oh, I can't remember. Something Stone. Aren't they all called Something Stone? Hammerstone. That's it. And you still collect? Um, I haven't bought a guitar for over a year. I feel I've moved on. Yeah, you tried to buy one from uh, Emma. Do you know what this is? Well, I think it's a bag. <laughs> is it a bag, Inspector? The shop. <laughs> oh, yes, the costume shop. Yes, we used to hire from them. 
for the course. Well, yes, for the course at the end of each stage, we have a, a, a little party and Hello. we ask oh, students doggo. to dress up or try acting out uh, being somebody Hello. new, their new selves, as it were. Could you explain a bit more? New selves? Oh, right. One of the main elements of the course is learning how to act, how to be whoever you need to be in any given situation. I think you'll agree, Inspector, that business is about being the right person in the right situation at the right time. Like what that. it does, it, it helps them to detach themselves, become somebody new. That pretend, you, know, you know, that kind of thing. It's surprising what a little bit of cross-dressing can do for you, Inspector. You should try it. Um, Not at this stage. <laughs> okay. What do you know about your father's money-stealing stunt? Oh, uh, <laughs> well, yes, that was something that Dan decided to do uh, as part of the shock aspect of the course. But he went too far, you believe? <laughs> he usually does. And do you think it did have anything to do with Liam's death? No, 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 no. Liam wasn't like that at all. I mean, that was just a simple, unfortunate coincidence. I mean, Liam had his own problems, but he didn't have any problems with the money shock stunt. No. Hey, they require... Hey, Rando, you require... For, for that female students wear revealing costumes? Hmm. Hey, oh, hey, Ryan, do you require the females wear revealing costumes? Hmm. What do you know about Emma Bowman criticizing Liam before his suicide? I was there. I witnessed it. Uh, well, I, I know Emma blamed herself for his death. Did she? Well, she was upset and all of that, but... Um, <laughs> I wouldn't blame her, Inspector. I, I really don't think she had anything to do with it at all. You don't think? <sighs> Liam was a very confident person, very outgoing, very strong individual, or so it seemed. I mean, people are free to do what they like. Even something as irreversible as bumping themselves off. Sad though that is, of course. about Liam. Stunt not related to Liam's suicide. Hmm, that's not it. All right. Thank well, you. We've got this Probably torch. Be back Let's later. go ahead and rub it in the dark behind the pub and see what we find. That could be the vital piece of information that we need. That could be what's holding us back here. Do, 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 do. Hey there! 
No duck. Lots and lots of duck. Oh, come on. You clearly didn't need that. This. Evil devil oh, workers. Wow. And there's the mask symbol again. Looks like someone's been trying to make a point. Hmm. Back to Atlas again. I'm gonna guess that James did that, maybe? Ask about a few more things, please. Do you know what uh, these are? Oh yes, that's my old car. Uh, it was vandalized. Um, I took those for the insurance company. Where did you find those? At the pub. Uh, you know who did this? <laughs> yes. A girl called Lisa Blint. She was on the course, very strange girl. And why did she write the words devil worshippers all over your car? Well. She was a very strange girl. She had a lot of psychological problems. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure, Inspector. I, I mean, she, she took a dislike to the cause for some particular reason. I couldn't quite put my finger on it. And um, she asked for a refund. I declined. And she decided to spray her disapproval all over my car. Odd thing to spray, isn't it, though? Devil worshippers? Well, she was a very odd girl, Inspector. Uh, maybe she thought it was a way of getting back at us. I have no idea. Did Rebecca know about it? Well, yes, she did, but I, was, I wasn't about to unleash Rebecca on her. She can be quite fierce sometimes, you know. And I mean, the girl wasn't vindictive. She had psychological problems. She lives in the village, actually. Uh, the run-down house at the end of the lane. Can't miss it. Oh, really? We have another right. person to interview you. now. But real quick... last year. Where's the mask? There's the mask. Uh, so that's it for the time being. Thank you. Lisa person. Tangled web we leave. Uh, we weave. Could that be where Lisa lives? Run down house at the end of the lane. That's what Ryan said, wasn't it? What bricks will you give us, old Mason? Is it Lisa? Yes. Uh, Inspector Jenks, I'm investigating an incident in the village. I wonder if I could ask you a few questions. What sort of incident? I'd rather come in and discuss it if that's all right with you. I promise I won't take long. I'm unarmed. I'm British. I'll just go in here, yes? I have to go out in a minute. Oh, oh, look, I, I can come back later. I might not be here. What did you want to ask? I just wanted to ask you... Did you know Kate Vine? No. Right. Well, I heard that you're familiar with Atlas, the uh, life skills training company. What do you want to know about Atlas? Well, I heard you reacted badly to it. Of course I reacted badly. So would anyone. Now, why do you say that? Because they're devil worshippers. Devil worshippers? They're making demons appear. They're tricking everybody. They're getting people to join up. Then they're putting demons inside them. You can see them. See who? Demons. Where could you see them? In the mirrors. At Atlas. Any mirror. You can't get rid of them. Stay inside you. So, how did you get rid of them? I didn't. You still see them. I 
I just don't look. I put all the lights on. I make sure it's all bright. I put them on when I need to look in the mirror. If I make sure everything is bright, I just see myself without seeing the other person. Who is the other person? She's like me, but Interesting. older. It's like her eyes sink in. She's all wrinkled, with a wrinkled mouth. Like she's dying. And then I realize I'm her. I'm Sorry, not me anymore. Was popping out. I'm her. I'm sorry, I have to go now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hmm. Okay. Ah, this isn't going back in properly. I will be back momentarily. They really had an issue with uh, crooked doors while filming these seas. That or it's a, a clue. Alright. Let's see. Atlas were devil worshippers. Let's see what Couple you have questions, to say if about that's okay. It. Do you know what these are? Yes, that's Ryan's car. Another toy he managed to ruin. It was vandalized sometime last year. You know who did it? I don't believe anybody was ever prosecuted for it. Hmm. Do you know anything about devil worship, Paul? I beg your pardon. Devil worship? Uh, Satanism? Am I missing something here? I heard Atlas had elements of Satanism on the course. We're Scooby and the gang when you need you them. You are misinformed. We're there a training Scooby company, we're not devil worshippers. What kind of a question is that? So you've no interest in the occult? No, Inspector, I have no interest in the occult any more than I have interest in pool vaulting, cheese making, or snake charming. Why don't you have Anything interest else in cheese you want making? To know that it's I'm fascinating. Not interested cheese in? is friggin' delicious. Fine, okay. No interest in the occult. He knows the mirror is used for scrying. Oh, come on. Hmm. Thank you. Okay, Probably you're clearly that useless later. here. Hmm. 
let's pay a visit to Simon and Emma again. If you want knock, questions, knock, knock, please. Knock, knock. knock. Gang says, promise not to discuss this with Simon. Have you seen these before? Hmm. No. Don't know the car. Okay, doesn't know anything about the car. What do you know about devil worship? Devil worship? Where? At Atlas. <laughs> devil worship at Atlas? No, there's none of that. No devil worship at Atlas. Okay. Uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. I don't think there's a contradiction there. Do you know anything about these? Nope. Sorry. Hmm. Have you ever heard about there being devil worship at Atlas? Devil worship? No. Definitely not. Who said that? It's just something I heard. But, but, but okay, flashlight! Thanks. We already used the flashlight. We can't ask people about the flashlight. Flashlight is not a thing that we can ask people about. It's just a thing that we can use. Be back later on, if that's okay. Wetless. Oh, we can go in the door on the right again. Uh, ask you a couple more things, please. Ask about Lisa's ex. Has devil worship ever been part of the course, Ryan? <laughs> Am I correct in assuming that you have spoken to Lisa Blint? You're you the would one who be. directed her. She's been her. telling me all about the Atlas obsession with Satanism, Ryan. Then if you've met Lisa Blint, then you will have worked out for yourself that she has a very vivid imagination. She also has... Psychological problems. Diagnosed psychological problems, as a matter of fact. So where did she get the idea that you lot were um, devil worshippers? The fact that she said it. I really have no idea. The girl is insane. She's frightened of her own shadow, bless her. She actually thinks that demons are possessing her even now. Are they? You really can't trust a word she says. So Can I you are saying you there say? has never been any devil worship at Atlas? I don't even know what devil worship is, Inspector. It's not something I particularly know anything about. I certainly don't recall anyone ever having worshipped the devil at Atlas. We even tried to help the poor girl by paying for some treatment, but she didn't want it. Really? It's not easy to offer someone help when they think that you're the problem. Doesn't know anything about devil worship. Where's the mirror? Where's the mirror? Where's the mirror? Ah. Yeah. So you yes. used to read a lot about voodoo and satanic rituals, but you don't know anything about devil worship? Well, obviously, I just meant we don't worship the devil. We're not devil worshippers here at Atlas, Inspector. Ridiculous. But the point is, Ryan, that you claim not to know anything about it, but admitted you were obsessed with it when you were younger. Are you sure none of that made its way onto the Atlas course? And that Lisa isn't basing her beliefs on anything within that course? I mean, Lisa is basing her beliefs on anything other than her own imagination. Like of your past self. Look, we do use some techniques that some students find difficult, disturbing. We encourage them to see things differently, that's all. And some people simply aren't up to that. Some people, like Lisa, uh, that's why we introduced the aptitude test. What's Wait, the aptitude test? The aptitude test. This. Feels like this is something you should have mentioned earlier. We ask students to fill in an aptitude test. Uh, medical history, psychological issues, that kind of thing. Any medication that they have used in the past. Any medication that they oh, currently this is in theory are theory how you using. knew about Lisa Here, Blint's take a look. past? Basically, it's just to try and make sure that we don't get another Lisa. Has it oh. worked? Well, touch wood, so far, yes. 
Can I keep a copy of this? Hmm. Uh, I wonder how much importance they actually give to this test. And what are they doing that's so disturbing anyway? Atlas used to do some disturbing techniques. Keep any medications on site, yet we saw that pill bottle. No student has ever brought drugs to Atlas. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. Here I go. I'm going to ask Simon about that aptitude test. Simon's the one that's pretty good. That's a student at Atlas that actually is pretty gung ho about it. A few more questions, if you don't mind. Did you do a test before you started at Atlas? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, it was all just questions about. Uh, if I had any illnesses or mental health problems or stuff like that, you know. I checked it earlier. Uh, they didn't easy. actually ask for Nothing any proof, was in so there. I could have lied through your teeth on that one. Don't think they actually checked. Interesting. Okay, form was a simple health check. It would be easy to lie on the form. Right there seems like a contradiction to me. Was told that, well, that Atlas to do something risky, but not allowed to hurt or offend others. Thank you. Probably be back later. Let's ask him. Have you seen one of these before? Um, no, not not this one exactly, but uh, we had to fill something similar in on the first night at Atlas. One of those aptitude tests, you know, fitness and stuff like that. Hmm. Thank you. Probably be back later. That's not useful. No. Dang it. The pub we go. A uh, few more questions, if you don't mind. Do you know anything about this? It's the aptitude test, isn't it, for Atlas? What do you want to know? 
Do you know why it was introduced? Yes, it, uh, I think they yes, have to some unsuitable students. I suppose you have to be careful who you work with. Have you ever come across anyone interested in or involved with the occult? As in black magic? No, why? Atlas don't use occult techniques or anything like that? Atlas? Not unless Ryan's got a secret he's not telling me about. Why, who's been talking? Just a line of inquiry. Okay, thanks. Have you ever seen these? Mm, it's Ryan's car. It got vandalised last year. His camera had been stolen, so I took pictures. Ugh, whoever did it made a mess, didn't they? But nobody was prosecuted for it. Not that I remember. The insurance paid out, though. Hmm. That's all for the moment. Thank you. <sighs> Ghost, you got anything for me? Of course you don't. Damn ghosts. Here, let's go visit James. He's crazy, but he's gotten us bricks before. A couple more questions, if that's okay. Plus, you know... Accusations about devil worship. He Do you know like the guy anyone who is interested in or involved with devil worship? Have you met Lisa? Which Lisa are you talking about? Mad Lisa. Lives on her own. Doesn't like mirrors. Yeah, yeah, I've met her. You think she's mad? You can't look at yourself in the mirror without seeing ghosts. You've got problems, don't you think? How do you know her? She came to the farm for some eggs a couple of times. I'm talking to her once, that's all. And what did she tell you? Nothing much. Except she thought the devil was after her. What did you tell her? Told her the devil needs a good reason to be after you. She was just like most people, really, blind to herself. Except she was more extreme. That's all madness is. Being blind to yourself. Huh. Know anything about these? Nope. Nope. Lips. Hmm. No. Be back later on, if that's okay. Dang, I am... I like striking out over here. Hmm. Go for a walk through the woods. Jetty. Nope. Into the woods. Past the jetty and into the woods. Over to Atlas we go. I am going around in circles here. Anything in the kitchen? Any updates to this area? Yep. Go on the right. Go back here again. Still nothing. A few more questions, please. Thank you. Wait. 
Lisa asked for a refund. This on its own should be a contradiction considering that he has a drink in his hand. I'll try yeah, let me let me try that. Under what were there we go. No, that's not it. suspected she oh but he has a background in psychology hold on damn thank you probably be back later gave us the aptitude test, so we can't question him about it. Which is an odd thing. Yeah, I'll Ask show you. We can't, things, uh... Oh, wait, maybe that. Can't select this for a uh, That's it for the time being. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, I really didn't want to do this, but there is a way to get hints.
What? No hints. No hints from the chief. Okay. That's fine. Slate, no answer. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. Oh, I haven't asked him Can about you it yet. Tell me a bit about this, please. Uh, it's the Atlas Aptitude Test. What do you want to know? What does it test, exactly? It's a test uh, we introduced to make sure that any students didn't have any major personality problems, skeletons in the cupboard, so to speak. We introduced it because we had a little bit of a problem with one of the students. Hmm. Lisa. You are well informed. And what do you think it was that disturbed her? I believe that the course proved to be too demanding for her. Uh, we discovered that she had one or two psychological problems and she couldn't handle it. And did you change anything else on the course apart from introducing the uh, test? We increased the entrance age to 21. Well, it wasn't much, but it's about the only thing we could do. We didn't want another Lisa. We didn't want students turning around and suing us, did we? Designed to reveal psychological oh, problems. Didn't seem like... Oh, wait, hold on. Liam was before Lisa. And steal from Liam that night. Thank you. Probably be back later. Hmm. We try the phone box again. There we go. Chief, I finally saw a bit of what goes on at Atlas. I walked in on a meeting. Very strange. There were several students sitting around a fire taking it in turns to burn handmade woolen dolls. You're hoping I'm gonna say tell me more, aren't you? I'm changing my mind. Ryan had an explanation for it, as did Simon. He claimed it was all about burning your past or something. Actually, Simon told me something interesting. He said they also use auto-hypnosis on the course. Oh, uh, what's that? Self-hypnosis. Hypnotizing yourself. Uh, oh. Apparently, that may have been what disturbed Lisa so much. Is it dangerous? Well, not in theory. Nobody I've spoken to seems to think so. Well, if it disturbs Lisa so much, then it can't be all that safe. I mean, can it? I suppose it depends on your psychological state to begin with, but I'll look into it. Okay, keep it up, Jax. Always do, Chief. Always do. You're yeah, very funny. Bye-bye. Right. Okay. That's the contradiction to point out. Alrighty. Ask about a few more things, please. Okay, let's see.
Uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. Okay, maybe I don't need to ask him. Maybe I need to ask uh, his dad. Couple more questions, if that's okay. Possibly be hurt or be damaged by hypnosis. Spoon handle of course techniques. There we go. Finally. So nobody has ever been affected by auto hypnosis, except Lisa. Hypnosis wasn't the problem, Inspector. Lisa was the problem with Lisa. That's why we introduced the test. But the hypnosis was the trigger, wasn't it? Lisa arrived on the course believing we were all devil worshippers. She was nuts to start with. We didn't make her like that. Well, as far as I can tell, Paul, you've had one student accuse you of devil worship and two others commit suicide. Some of your students aren't having a very good time on this course, are they? Nonsense. Kate was enjoying every minute of it. She couldn't get enough of it. Really? She was full of the joys of life. Bubbly, confident, flirty. With who? You mean with whom? With whom? Pretty <laughs> much everybody. Including me, as I remember. Really? And, uh, did you respond? I don't get into relationships with students, Inspector. Company policy, it's not professional. Mm hmm Interesting admission that Kate flirted with him. There's no way Paul would have turned down an opportunity like that. Avoids relationships with students, but... Once tried to date Emma. <laughs> so you avoid relationships with students, except for Emma, who you tried to date. Oh, come on, Inspector. That was a long time ago. And what about Kate Vine? Gotcha. Did you try to gotcha. date her or not? Oh, don't be so ridiculous, Inspector. Kate was an exceptionally clever girl. She knew exactly what she wanted, and she knew how to get it. You mean that Kate approached you? It wouldn't surprise me if she was playing everyone in the group. Kate had more enemies than you'd think. She was a very, very manipulative young woman. Time advances. Ten oh. o'clock, it's getting late. I'm going to have to pick up the pace if I'm going to solve this by midnight. Okay. I don't have anything new, so I have to start heading around to pick up something new that it happened with this advancement of time. Here. The jetty. Nothing at the jetty. by the village hall then but no not the village center the village hall still nothing hmm, let's go to the farm Still nothing. Hmm. 
Hmm. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Let's go see if the ghosts in the restaurant have anything to say. Oh, here we go. I really don't think it's my place, darling. It is your place, yeah. I just don't want to tell tales. Tell him about Sam. You know what happens when you don't tell Sam. Ah. So it's going to be that kind of evening, is it? You should play the cards, right? Only if you deal. Problems. <laughs> Hello, Inspector. I love how Jenks is just like, am I interrupting anything? I feel like I'm interrupting a something here. The thing happened there. A few more questions, please. Still don't have Be anything back later on if that's okay. to ask her. We'll leave the pub. So that's why they're anti BDSM. The guy leading it wants it all for himself. He doesn't want anyone to know that that's what he's into, apparently. In the there was a magnifying glass symbol in the dining room? Oh, going back, going back, going back. Damn it. Here. Come back to the pub. The pub. In the pub. In the pub. In the pub. You were right. Okay, what we got here? Prescription meds. Well, isn't that interesting? Mysterious prescriptions made out to Rebecca. Very interesting. Let's ask Rebecca about those medications of hers. I'll ask you a couple more things, please. The cupboard downstairs, there's a lot of unopened stuff in it. Is there? Prescriptions. Made out to you. Oh. They're just spare painkillers. The chemist always gives us too many. He's a friend of the family. Hello. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Salvia divinorum. Where is it? Salvia divinorum. Doesn't take any drugs or medicines. Yes. <laughs> So, you don't take any medicines except for prescription painkillers. Well, they're not actually for me, they're Ryan's. Um, for some reason, the chemist always makes them out to my name. He's a, an old gentleman. Does Ryan need prescription painkillers? Yes, he's got arthritis. Really? He's young to suffer from that, isn't he? He doesn't have it badly, but he does need medication from time to time. What medicine is it? I can tell you, to be honest. Ryan will know. So Ryan's the one using the prescriptions. I think I might have a word with him, work out exactly what this medicine is. Ryan suffers from arthritis. Why can't I... It's not letting me do anything. I guess okay, I need to leave. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. Thank you, Napster Bluk. Casey, I was going the exact same way that you just mentioned, but for some reason it wasn't letting me put in a contradiction. So I'm guessing I need to go somewhere else, and it's trying to be like, hey, you need to get going. Let's head our way over to Atlas. Talk to Ryan. What he has to say about these prescription meds he's supposedly taking. Oh, no, wrong button. Wrong button, Jinxie. Jinxie, come back. Jinxie! Okay. Door. 
few more questions, if you don't mind. Stayed up way too late. Good night, Casey. Do you know what the medicine in the cupboard at the pub is for? You'd better ask Rebecca about that. I'm not exactly sure what's in there. She tends to keep her wares under lock and key. Do you know, our wedding night was quite a surprise. <laughs> Tell me about your arthritis. Oh, you found out about that. <laughs> well, yes, I'm old before my time. <laughs> That's very unlucky to have it so young. Well, I take a lot from life, Inspector, and sometimes life likes to give you a little bit back. I mean, it's not too bad, it's not too debilitating. It's mainly uh, some in my right hand, some in my left hand. It's not particularly a problem. Uh, it makes it difficult to hold small things, though. Like that what glass. do you take for it? I uh, get a prescription painkiller. How often do you need that? Not often, as and when, as and when. I keep some here, I keep some at home. It's not but a problem. you don't allow prescription medication on site. Ah. 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 So, you don't keep any medicines on site at Atlas. No. Except your prescription painkillers. Which you just told me about. Well, these are not available to the students. But they are kept on site. Yes, but they're locked away. They're kept in the storeroom. Nobody would have access. You're sure about that? Absolutely sure. And what are the painkillers, Ryan? <laughs> painkillers. Uh, just painkillers. Normal painkillers. Paracetamol. What kind? Codeine. Morphine. Well, all right, they're morphine tablets, yes. Oh, really? really? Oh, come on, Inspector. I know what you're thinking, but there's no way Kate could have had access to them. Because they're in the storeroom. Well, not just that. She wouldn't have even known about them or where they were. Sure about that? Yes. So it is morphine Ryan's taking. The pieces are starting to come together. Now I just have to work out how Kate got hold of it. If it was Ryan's morphine she got hold of, of course. Keeps the morphine in the secure storeroom at Atlas. Thank you. Probably be back later. Awfully defensive there. Oh yeah, let me ask about that. A uh, few more Thank questions, you if you don't mind. Okay. Right, it's in his hands. Where's his compactor? Was not playing the guitar? Was not playing the guitar? Is that right? It's in his hands. Okay, no. It's apparently not a cut. Thank you. Probably be back later. He apparently can still have arthritis, but still play guitar. As we note, everyone who knows him says he does not play the guitar well. Hey, where is this storeroom, anyways? I'd like to take a look at it. A couple more questions, if that's okay. where you keep them. Mm. That's all for the moment. Thank you. I go talking to Simon again. Oh, hello. A thing's happening. Simon's coming home and he dropped something. That means it belongs to Jenks now. Bit careless, Simon. Probably nothing important, but at this stage, I need all the clues I can get. items. What do 
I got here? Dropped key ring. And a dropped business card. Huh. Let us ask him about that, shall we? A few more questions, please. Thank you. I uh, think you dropped this outside. Someone you know. Oh, this is just this is just from some IT guy in there. Uh, I don't need it. Enough. I uh, noticed some numbers on the back. Do you need these? I don't know. What is it? Uh, one nine zero five. Oh yeah, yeah. That's just that's just a, a pen or something. It's okay. I can remember it. So not an offshore savings account or anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It's uh, it, it's not important. Clearly, it is. Is this yours? Yeah. That's from my keys. Where did you find that? Just outside. Right. Oh, it must have come off when uh, Nathan dropped my keys off. Uh, he was borrowing my car. That's very trusting. Yeah, I suppose it is. I, I am a bit too trusting, really. It's a new car as well. Wait a minute. He has a ca new car. Huh? Yes. They're right there. Owns a new car. Bike is the only way you can get to work. Ha <laughs> ha! Contradiction right there. So the bike's the only way you can get to work, yes? Yeah. What's wrong with the car? Well, I can't drive the car yet, can I? I don't have my license. Right. I got a windfall from an insurance payout. Uh, just figured I'd buy something sensible with it Going straight away instead of wasting the money. Good what night. was the insurance payout? Love you. Uh, it was for a laptop it got stolen down at Atlas. An atlas? Well, they didn't break in. They, I think they just walked in and took it. The laptop was in a storeroom, but I think the lock was broken, to be honest. Doesn't sound like they're taking their security very seriously. Uh, actually, it got a lot better after that. I think I'll check it anyway. Must have been a very nice laptop to be able to buy a car with the insurance. Or a very cheap car. Might have to have a talk with Ryan about his security measures. Be back later on, if that's okay. I gotta go back to Atlas now. For the Atlas building. So, couldn't have possibly gotten into the storeroom, huh? Ask you a couple more things, please. Were you at Atlas when Simon's laptop was stolen? Oh, I believe I was, yes. It was taken from the storeroom in the hallway. Was it ever recovered? No, we didn't catch anyone. We're quite exposed out here. Uh, somebody could just have wandered along the lane, seen into the storeroom. It's not particularly secure. They could have been in and out within minutes. Uh, that's why we advise people to keep their valuables with them. You can't be too careful these days, Inspector. Storeroom isn't particularly. Thank you. Probably be back later. Why won't it let me click things? Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. Storeroom isn't particularly secure. There ah. we go. Ah. So the storeroom isn't particularly secure, yet you keep your morphine tablets in there. I thought you said no one could get access to the morphine, but they could quite easily, couldn't they, Ryan? I didn't mean that storeroom. I meant a different storeroom. I keep them in there. OK. So where was it locked up? It's upstairs. It's got a combination lock on it. Nobody could have access to it except me and Dad. Nobody. I might have a look at that if you don't mind. Don't mind at all. A combination locked room, I see. Well, I might have a look around for that. See how secure and combination locked it really is. Have you seen this before? No, sorry. Just asking about everything while we're here. Know anything about this? Uh, no, no, no about sorry. This? We, we about have this? our about own this? IT chap. Lovely chap, in fact. Uh, fat and sweaty, though. It's, it's like a double act, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Right. Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you. Up the stairs we go. Finally, we get to check out the next floor of this place. It's about to get creepier, I'm suspecting. Hmm. 
Um, how do I... How? How, how do? Ask about a few more things, please. Thank you. Probably be back later. Go talk to Simon. I suspect that the pin number on the back of that card is the pin number to the storeroom. Couple more questions, if that's okay. That's all for the moment. Thank you. All right. And what do you know about this? This is Simon's. I bought this for him when we were on holiday. Has he lost it? He dropped it. He can't keep anything. Hmm. Did you know about Simon's laptop being stolen? Yeah, because it had all my college work on it which I hadn't backed up or saved. Uh, not that it mattered much, but uh, I did buy a new one. And Simon uses it now. When I let him. Mm. Did you know about Ryan Round's arthritis? Arthritis? I, I didn't think Ryan had arthritis. Hadn't known about Ryan's arthritis. Fair with Ryan, but didn't know about his arthritis. Okay, I suppose that's fair. Be back later on, if that's okay. Ask his dad about it. A few more questions, please. Seen this before anywhere? No. Okay, I would see that. And what do you know about Simon's laptop being stolen from Atlas? I know I wasn't happy about it. What did you do about it? Ryan paid a con man to install a complicated CCTV system at twice the price that it would probably have cost. Seemed to do the trick, though. We haven't had a theft since. Hmm. Do you know who this is? Uh, Dean Hayfield, Aztec. Sorry, never heard of him. We have uh, some prisoner of the sword who does our IT. Large guy. No manners. When did Ryan begin to suffer from arthritis? Ryan doesn't suffer from arthritis. Really? The only thing that Ryan suffers from is a pathetic inability to deal with any kind of discomfort. He pulled his back sometime last year. Since then, he's going around telling everybody he suffers from arthritis. I thought he had medication for it. Oh, he only has medication because his GP, who is almost as dysfunctional as he is, keeps prescribing it for him. So you don't believe he really has arthritis? Not at all. Hmm.
Hmm. Note that's just happened since. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. Wait, hold on. We got Simon's key ring charm thing. Let's see if I ask you a couple more things. You please. recognize it? Seen this before? Don't think so. Never mind. Uh, do you know anything about this? Recognize this at all? Yeah, he fixed my laptop. Does he live locally? I think so. IT consultant repaired his laptop. Doesn't think the consultant li is... No, no. Okay, that Thank you. Much Probably help. be back later. Well, we now know that the thing... That the card belongs to someone who pairs laptops, apparently. Well, we knew he was an IT guy, so that makes sense. Dr. Rebecca, if she knows anything about the card. A few more questions, if you don't mind. Do you know anything about this? No, sorry. Mm. Have you seen this before? No. Give me something to work with. Thank you. Probably be back later. Just because it's getting late, I'm sorry. I'm trying not to resort to doing this too often. But, uh... Well, that means I haven't asked everything, everyone everything that I possibly can yet. A few more questions, if you don't mind. That's all for the moment, thank you. Oh, good point, DS. I don't think I did. That's right, I haven't. Have you seen this before? Um, no. Sorry, never heard of him. Never heard of the IT consultant on guard. Be back later on if that's okay. Well, that didn't do much. Explore the around the room the woods real quick. I do so enjoy the jetty. Hmm. 
Okay, well now let's try calling the chief. Just it's getting late, and I'm... we're a good ways into this. I'd like to. Uh... Never mind. Apparently, we have nothing from him. We haven't asked any, someone about something yet. A couple more questions, if that's okay. Thank you. We've Probably him about be back later. Recent stuff. Okay, ghost. What can you tell me? Ghost, what do you know about this? I guess I hadn't tried that. Alright, let's see. What is in this... Welcome mirror. to the mirror room. Wait, what? This exercise is all about identifying the difference between the image one presents to the world and one's real <laughs> self, this place? which lies deep in our unconscious. What is this? As you this? move through the network of mirrors, Practice seeing yourself as a stranger. The more you separate from your persona, the more aware you will become of your true desires and ambitions. Through you, I use Jump my persona to beat us. the crap out of shadows I and separate others from their, their I am desires, free from from my their past. distorted desires. I am free from myself. I am thou, thou art I. Am I. Free from my image. I am free from my past. Well, this isn't am freaky free at all. From I am free from my image. I am free from my past. I am free from myself. Now, excuse me, I This need... exercise involves the use of liberation masks. You have now completed Module 1. Module 2 covers boundary testing, threshold testing, and extreme testing. Wait, Please what? read the notes carefully before attempting the module. That sounds odd. Okay, so this is the secure room, huh? I think I need to go talk to Simon regarding what the heck all of that was about, considering he had the pin number to it. Simon? You got some explaining please. to do. Thank you. Tell me about the mirror room. Do you room. know about the mirror room at Atlas? Yeah. Useful. But it's mainly for the auto-hypnosis module. Uh, you go in and you stare into the mirror and you go into a trance. Then when you're ready, you come back out. So you just go in whenever you want to? Uh, no. Um, there's certain times when you're allowed in and uh, only they know the combinations anyway, so you can't really get in. You don't know the combination? No. You don't know the combination? Simon, Simon, ah. Simon! So you didn't know the combination to the locked mirror room? No. Except... You'd written it down, hadn't you? This is the combination to the mirror room, Simon, that you wrote. It isn't a pin. It's a combination. Yeah. You see, this sort of thing makes me suspicious, Simon. 
What were you doing in there that you didn't want anyone, including me, to find out? It's just part of the course, isn't it? I just, I just wanted to go in there when I was ready. On your own? You didn't give a number to anyone else? Uh, no. Simon, there was morphine kept in that room that might have played a part in Kate Vine's death. Did Kate have the number? Yes, OK. Uh, we both went in. Together? We were trying to outdo each other. We we both tried to morph in. What do you mean, trying to outdo each other? It's part of the course. To see how far you can push yourself. To see if you could do something you wouldn't normally do. When was this? A few months ago. How often did you try it? Only that once. I'd never yeah. do it again. How about Kate? I don't know. Sorry. And it advances to 10 p.m. I mean, 11 p.m. So that's how Kate got the morphine. But what exactly does this testing involve? Could this have been what killed Kate? 11 o'clock. Just an hour left to solve this thing. We're getting close to the end, folks. All right. Yeah, go to Atlas. Got some questions for you. a couple more things, please. Can you tell me what you know about the mirror room upstairs? Oh, you found that then. Hmm. Well, it's very similar to the costumes, Inspector. It's designed to help the students look at themselves differently. And what do you do with the mirrors? You look at yourself, Inspector. You look at yourself until you start seeing yourself as, Rum, you as on everyone's do. faces, And you don't see yourself rum, as, rum, as, rum, as you rum, do rum, anymore. Rum, rum. It, it really, the idea is that you can see yourself eventually, any way you wish. So why in a locked room? To make sure you're not distracted, that's all. How often is it used? Not often, a few times a month. Some students find it useful, some don't. Wait a minute, mirror room is used by students. Keeps the morphine in a locked combination. Okay, apparently that's not the locked combination. Uh, that's it for the time being, thank you. Right, okay. Alright, let's go for a walk in the, the forest. Clearing. Aha! Whoa! That is blue. Just keep pushing. That is clearly daytime. That is just colored blue. Just keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. You can push it all the way in, Tom, if you want to. <laughs> what, what the frig are you guys Excellent, doing? Excellent, Tom. Excuse me. Would someone care to tell me exactly what's going on here? Don't come any closer. That man needs a doctor. No, he doesn't. I don't need a doctor. I'm fine. Go away. What is this? A test. Of what? What does it look like? It's a threshold test. A pain threshold test. What the? I thought uh, you were supposed to be good at working things out. How are you Inspector playing the business James. school? And so this would be for Atlas, would it? Kyle. You disappear now. It's not a good idea to talk to a police inspector like that. Do it to make you. It's okay, Tom. Mr. Jenks won't be bothering us anymore. Don't make any rash commitments. Hello, keys. These are mine now. Well, well. You really should take more care of your things, Ryan. Is your keys, Kyle? No. It just took the key fob off of that. So that's threshold testing, is it? Sticking a skewer through your hand? 
I could just ask Ryan or Paul directly about this, but I think I'll bide my time. See what I can do with this key fob first. Right then. We know where the car is parked. Unlock. <laughs> Success. Oh, uh, yes, European car. Hello. What do we have here? Bingo. Well, Ryan, what have you been up to? Be very interesting to see how he explains this one. $500 check made out to Kate. Interesting. questions if you don't mind would you like to explain what this is please Ryan 500 pounds intended for Kate it fell out of your car at least I assume that's your car on the driveway at Brandon house I suppose so so why were you going to give Kate yeah, it's 500 really pounds that I can see in the Ryan? Dark just fine now but earlier it was just was a little in that incentive well that's all room he needed the just torch. a little incentive not very little Ryan 500 pounds she was a uh... A very good student. We we heard that she was leaving. We wanted to give her something. But you didn't. Well, obviously not. Are you sure there wasn't any other reason you might want to give her this? Personal reason? No! Well, I'd like to keep hold of this for a little while, if you don't mind. Well, don't consider it a bribe, will you, Inspector? As a little incentive for Kate... Let's see. Kate's art. Thank you. Mm. Probably be back later. I wonder if Emma would know about it, considering that she knew that Kate tried to blackmail him. Ask about a few more things, please. Emma wouldn't know about this money. Uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. Maybe Rebecca? Hmm. Anything here? Nope. For how often they reuse certain locations, it surprises me that there are certain locations that you go to exactly once. Couple more questions, if that's okay. A question about best not to ask Rebecca about the money for Kate. Do you know anything about a locked room at Atlas with mirrors in it? Not off the top of my head. No, I think that's a question for Ryan. Hmm. Be back later on, if that's okay. Be the dad. Questions, please. Now, why do you think Ryan might want to give Kate a check for five hundred pounds? I really no idea. Where did you find it? Just outside. You better ask him. You think Ryan was interested romantically in Kate? I know he has a weakness for blondes, but I didn't think it had gone so far but as his Kate wasn't offering blonde. Cash. It was brown haired. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's not blonde. Hmm. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. That is very clearly brown. Oh, hello. New brick. Got there. He clearly didn't want anyone seeing that exchange. Go see. The hiding, Jamesy boy. Nothing. Go further up. Perhaps it's in the big greenhouse. This is where he stashed his drugs earlier. Oh, I can investigate here. Hmm, there's the boxes he just received with... So James is interested in poppy pods, is he? I think he's got some explaining to do. Poppy pods. We, if you don't know, poppy pods can be used to make opiate. Um, another opiates. I ask you a couple more things, please. What can you tell me about several boxes of dried poppy pods in the greenhouse back there? Feel free to take some if you want. What are they for, James? Decoration? Why? Decoration. It's a big market for them among the over-70s. So what are you doing with them? Selling them. To grannies. OK, James, let's just cut to the chase. Are you extracting opium from them? Me? I can honestly say I've never done anything like that, Inspector. Sure about that. Scout's honour. And who was the guy delivering them? A friend. Someone gave them to him. He asked me if I wanted them. I said I'd have a look and see if I liked them. You just thought you'd have a look? No particular reason? I'm a plant scientist. That's what I do. Have you ever sold them to anyone else? I only got them a few minutes ago. In the past. You know Kate's body had opium in the blood when it was found? No, no, I didn't. Hey, hey, that's nothing to do with me. Let's hope not. Hmm. Other drugs. Thank you. Probably be back later. Get to Rebecca with this information about poppy pods, considering that she's the other plant person in town. Hmm. This is good. Well, this is confusing. A few more questions, if you don't mind. What do you know about poppy pods? Go on across anyone trying to sell them or anything like that? Maybe even in here? 
and not that I remember. I know much about poppy pods. Thank you. Probably be back later. Well, we know that Simon bought magic mint from um, him. A uh, few more questions, if you don't mind. Odd question, but have you ever seen anyone handling dried poppy pods? Poppy pods? As in, for opium? No. Though, James did have opium tea once, I think. Where did he get it from? Oh, I don't know. I didn't ask. James does his own thing. What does opium tea taste like? I don't know. I didn't try it. Really? I didn't want to risk it, did I? But I went to hospital once. Uh, I, I had codeine and I went into anaphylactic shock. Wait a minute. The doctor said it was um, an opium derivative, apparently, so... A low allergic to opiates, but <laughs> you and Kate took morphine in the mirror room. That's what you said, isn't it? Yeah. But you're allergic to opiates, Simon. Opium. You didn't take the morphine at all, did you? Well, no, no, I didn't. Kate did, though. I thought you were trying to outdo each other. That was the point, wasn't it? We weren't trying to outdo each other as such. Go on. <sighs> Ryan wanted me to test Kate. Uh, to see how far she would go to be prime candidate. Prime candidate? What candidate? Prime candidate. It, it means the best person in the group, basically. What do you mean, test her? But you do it in pairs. One person's the tester, it's me. And the other person's the... Victim? Well, it's not like that. It's completely consensual. It's just boundary consensual testing. Consensual boundary testing. Ryan wanted me to test Kate. Because they thought she was the best student. Well, maybe. I... I don't know. I just did what I was told, okay? Except you decided to give her morphine. To break the law. Well, I can't change that now, can I? She didn't die of a morphine overdose, did she? She died because she drowned. But she drowned for reasons that aren't clear. Atlas seemed to have this all this. neatly worked out. If Simon's telling the truth, Atlas are lighting the fuse and then retiring to a safe distance, letting students test themselves and push themselves to their limits while avoiding all comeback. Is this what happened to Kate? That's all for the moment, thank you. But that's all for the moment. He should be under arrest. He just admitted that he... He friggin... Yeah. Alright, let's go to Atlas. I ask about the prime candidate thing. No, Jinx! God damn it, I keep clicking the wrong thing. Mm. Jinx is like, you ever have one of those moments where you walk into the kitchen and then forget why you came there? Couple more questions, if that's okay. Now, tell me what a prime candidate is. You're learning a lot, aren't you, Inspector? <laughs> that's what prime I do, candidates I are simply the best students, the ones with the most potential. And what benefits do they get from that? Well, they get the top job. Which is? Well, I've been streaming well, for over five hours. We have now. a deal with various multinationals. We train students to be exceptional, truly exceptional. And they get a wonderful top job. It seems a very simple deal. And how do you decide who the prime candidate is? Do you test students? No. Did you ever, say, ask Simon to test Kate, for instance? Oh, you've actually been speaking to Simon, haven't you? I really wouldn't trust anything that Simon Thompson says. You know, he spent the best part of two months trying to undermine Kate. No, 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 no. 
<laughs> now, Simon Thompson, it really isn't my place to speculate, but uh, if you're looking for motives, Inspector, uh, he certainly had a few motives, I, uh, more than I. A motive to kill her, do you mean? Now, that's very interesting, Inspector. Well, that's up to you to decide her. Students aren't tested yet. Okay, never mind. Why did he call that check incentive? Hmm. Be uh, back later on, if that's okay. to the dead. See what he has to say. About this prime candidacy business. A few more questions, please. Thank you. What are prime candidates? The best of the bunch. The peaches. And so what does it mean to be a prime candidate? Success. We have a special relationship with many major international companies. We provide them with our best students. And they get an instant job. And what do you get out of it? Well, it's a little kickback. It's just business, Inspector. Hmm. Can you tell me about the room with the mirrors at Atlas? The one with the combination lock? How did you get in there? I was given the code for the combination. By Ryan? Well, nobody else is uh, allowed to know the code, are they? And not in theory. So how is the room used on the course, then? It's a meditation room where the students can reflect on themselves, literally. And what about the CD? Well, that helps, too. It's part of the programme. So you send the students into the room, they put the CD on, they stare into the mirrors. And how long does this last for? Until the CD finishes or they fall asleep. What else would you like to know? Used for meditation, but... The auto-hypnosis thing. of trying to beat him. Thank you. Probably be back later. I don't want to keep doing this, but it's nearly midnight here. There we go. Got something interesting, gents? Very much so, sir. An interesting discovery in Ryan's car. A check for £500 from Ryan made out to Kate. Blimey, how does he explain that? He said it was an incentive. 
Apparently he'd heard she was thinking of leaving the course. <laughs> made her so special that they were willing to pay her to stay. Just a good student, I suppose. Nah, doesn't add up. 500 pounds is a lot more than an incentive, Jex. You can buy questions in Parliament for that kind of money. Sounds pretty desperate. Keep on her writing about it. Oh, and, um, get yourself another drink. Another drink. Thanks, Chief. I'm having one. Bye. Another drink. A hint to go to the pub? Check and see if the ghosts have anything for us. The ghosts do not. Well, ghosts were useful one all of one I time. That's all they things, had to please. be. Do you know what a prime candidate is? An Atlas. Um, is the best student. And um, what does that mean? It means they get a guaranteed job with a very good salary. Well, that's the idea anyway. But... Mostly, they aren't up to it. What happens then? They get sacked. Build prime candidates get sacked, huh? Uh, that's, that's it for the time being. Thank you. Now it sounds like this place is setting people up for failure, and it's just Ryan playing at all of his old uh, cult fantasies. All right, let's go ahead on to Atlas. See if we can't push for a few more pieces of info from Brian. Positive that Ryan's saying something about not bribing students. Okay, we'll look Just for a that. few more questions, if you don't mind. aren't coerced or bribed in any way. Good job, uh, DS. Uh. You remembered that. So, students aren't coerced or bribed in any way, Wait. except Wait. Kate. Kate. I'm not sure what you mean. You said you were going to give Kate the 500 pounds as an incentive. That's coercion, isn't it? I really don't think you could call it coercion, Inspector. Pulls. It was an incentive. That's all. A little encouragement. So, how often do you use incentives? Okay, incentive is probably the wrong word. The money was just to see how Kate would respond. It was part of her assessment. Assessment? We have to assess students as they progress. We, we don't use conventional methods like sitting an exam or anything like that. People pay for this course per session. We have to know if they're committed or not. So you're assessing their progress and testing their commitment? Yes, we are. We have to. This is a business, not a charity. But you just said that students aren't tested. So Ryan's claiming the money was part of Kate's assessment. And did this assessment also involve threshold testing, I wonder? Or was the money for something else? It's all coming together. Well, which one is it, Ryan? Do you test students or not? Well, some of them, yes. Including Kate? Yes. Why was she being tested? She was being tested because... because we wanted to see if she was good enough to become prime candidate, OK? So Kate was in the running <laughs> to be prime candidate. Yes. Up there. And did you ask Simon to test her? Yes, I did. But I didn't ask him to do anything stupid. He knew it was against course rules. How far did you ask him to push her? I didn't ask him to push her. I asked him to test her. There's a huge difference! 
He's if Simon very... decided to give her too much caffeine or morphine or whatever, that's his responsibility. Caffeine and morphine. So if he did anything wrong, it was his own responsibility. He did it with his own mind and his own hand. Sorry, I just realized that we you were probably have getting nothing to do that. with it. Midnight. Midnight, and still no suspect, unless you count everyone I've interviewed. It's no surprise that Ryan wants to avoid any suggestion of being responsible for Kate's death, but I wonder if the man protests just a little too much. Kate's prime status. Hmm. Let's go talk to Simon about that, since he's the one that was apparently told to test her. Ask about a few more things, please. How do you think you'd have reacted if you'd found out that Kate had been chosen to be prime candidate? Is that... was she? I'm just asking how you think you'd react. I don't know. I wouldn't react in any way, really. I'm, I'm not bothered. I don't think she was, though. What makes you think that? Well, it's just an impression I got. You know, she's a bit flaky, to be honest. It's just not really prime candidate material. Didn't think Kate could be prime candidate. Hmm. Thank you. Probably be back later. Do you know whether Kate was in the running to be prime candidate or not? I don't, but I do think she would have been chosen. Just because she was, you know, Kate. You didn't discuss it with Kate? No. No, she never talked about Atlas. Kate didn't discuss Atlas with the others. Uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. Talk to the... Let's talk to the dad. See what he has to say. Couple more questions, if that's okay. Was Kate a prime candidate? Well... As Ryan has probably already told you, yes, she was. Did you ask Simon to test her? Yes, it's company policy. Leaders don't get involved. Mm, and it covers your back, of course. Well, nobody knows the students better than they do, Inspector. It's much better to let them just work it out among themselves. It isn't very professional to force students to test each other to the point where one of them gets killed, Paul. We don't force students to do anything that they don't want to do, Inspector. So you don't force them into being tested? No, we don't encourage anybody to hurt or offend anybody else here. You don't use threshold testing, for instance? No. If Simon Thompson went too far with Kate, that's his responsibility, not ours. He's the one you should be speaking to, if truth be told. I don't trust him myself. Don't do threshold testing. Death stunt. Hmm. 
be back later on, if that's okay. Am. Talk to Simon some more. I feel like there's something more. A few more questions, er please. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. Hmm. Do you know about the mirror room at Atlas? The mirror room? Um, no, I, I heard about it, but I think it was only for the students that were on the course. Something like that. Do you know what a prime candidate is? At Atlas. Yes, it's um, what every student wants to be. It's the best student. Apparently, you get a great high paid job afterwards. I don't think that really happens, though. Did you know anyone in the running to be prime candidate? What, like Simon? <laughs> I don't think they picked Simon, to be honest. Well, he's got too many morals, and you can't have both at Atlas. Thank you. Probably be back later. I don't want to have to keep relying on the phone calls, but it is midnight here, and we are so close to the end. Chief Ryan admitted that he asked Simon to test Kate to see if she was good enough to be prime candidate. But he's throwing it all back on Simon. Says it was up to Simon about how he went about testing her. Very convenient. What does Paul say? He pretty much backs Ryan up. He claims they don't do any threshold testing. Well, oh, that's a load of horse droppings. He knows you're on to him, Jenks, which means you're getting somewhere at last. It's only taken you until midnight, but well done nonetheless. Listen, call me back. I'm watching an old movie, but... Christopher Lee's only just turned up, so I'll be here for another hour or so, yeah? Okay, Chief. I'll call again. Yeah, yeah, bye. Okay, so I need to... need to push Paul. Oh, sorry, wrong way. i ask you a couple more things, please. Don't do threshold testing. We know it's that. Ask about the poppy What do you know bit. about poppy pods? Poppy pod? Ever come across anyone selling them, using them? No. Okay. Don't do... What's the CD in the mirror room for again? It's supposed to 
help them focus on the uh, meditation thing. That's what they're claiming. Okay, we need something to do with threshold testing. That's not it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you were right. You say you don't endorse threshold testing. That's the phrase, isn't it? Yes. Oh. Except you do, Paul. Because yes. you told me that the students use that CD in the mirror room. I've listened to that CD, and it very clearly mentions That's threshold right, testing. That's right, it does. You keep batting this away, Paul. We don't really use hypnosis. The students aren't really tested. But I am this close to launching a full-scale investigation. Look, we get a kickback from these students, and they have to be exceptional. Of course we have to test them. That doesn't mean we do anything illegal. What do you think we do? Bump off the ones we don't like? Well, that depends on how far you push them, doesn't it? Well, we certainly don't kill them. Nobody here wanted Kate dead. I'm sure they didn't. But what do you expect, Paul, when you put students under that much pressure? She was a very, very valuable mm -hmm. student. She was worth a lot to the business. Really? And how much would that be? Well, if you really want to know, 50 grand. She was worth 50 grand? Yes. What, you were selling her? Of course we were selling her. You don't get this, do you? We make perfect employees. Month after month, that's all we do. What do you mean, perfect employees? What big business needs, Inspector, more than anything else, is none of this altruistic, goody-goody crap. What we look for is people with ambition. No ethics. Push. Greed is good. All right? We don't deal with all this comfort stuff. The survival of the fittest. That's all there is. There's no higher purpose, no big plan. There's nothing at the end of the rainbow. Except what you have and you can enjoy in the here and now. Aha. Uh -huh. And what do you enjoy now, Paul? You're gonna have to excuse me. Inspector, I'm a very busy man. I've got work to do. Oh, dear. I'll see myself out. Oh, hi there. Have you your father? Hmm. Shut the gate on your way out. I'ma just do a little bit of covert sneaking in your window. Listening in on your conversations. He's doing his level best to shut this place down. Get rid of him. He's a policeman, we can't just... You saw this, right? You man up and you sort it tonight. Of course you would be the kind of person that would use the phrase man up. Ooh, I should run. <laughs> Running sounds like a good plan right now. That doesn't sound good. 
two totally morally bankrupt men are plotting to get rid of me. It's midnight. I don't have any backup and I don't even have a mobile phone. This is potentially quite bad. And what's Kyle got to do with it? I think I might make my way over to Atlas while Ryan isn't there. Maybe lock myself in. Run away! Damn! I suppose it was too much to hope that Ryan had left the place open. Okay, back into the woods then. Oh, something's going on at the clearing again. Hello, random hobo man again. Mysterious chanting. The best kind of chanting. Prove to me that you're man enough to do this, Kyle. And then you can deal with that ridiculous police inspector. This is, is, this is all business. What the yes, hell? Business. Scotland Yard. Not hell. Hello, Ryan. Hello, Inspector. What are you doing here? Inspecting? So, uh, come on. Let's have it. I don't think you'd understand, Inspector. The best thing that you can do is turn around, go away, and leave us to it. Knife. You are holding a knife what? to that her knife neck. knife gives me a perfect right to stick my nose in, investigate, and interfere. <laughs> this is all part of the Atlas course. It's a physical endurance exercise. With a knife? The knife, Kyle! Kyle. Drop it! Drop it. Not looking 100% brilliant for you, Ryan. Well, please, Inspector, you've poked your nose into Atlas's affairs enough times to know that imaginative flair is part of the course's success. Our lessons are reinforced by a unique emotional experience. Terror? It's an extremely evocative tool. Well, it's a good job you're not in charge of the national curriculum. <laughs> now look, Inspector, I know what you're yeah, trying to do. Yeah, considering that that lady I know is, thinking. you know, but actually me, great, seems Atlas actually had grateful nothing for Jens being with the there, deaths of those people. and is like, mm -mm, Eyewitness I'm not satanic moving away from here. In the woods. That's not what we call circumstantial evidence, Ryan. Simon. Now, I saw Simon walking home with Kate last Friday after the meeting. Now, Simon had some strange idea that he was in the running to become prime candidate. <laughs> well, a knob of butter has more chance of becoming prime minister. Oh, wait. So are you telling me that... Simon killed her? Well, that seems reasonable. It's likely, isn't it? <laughs> Any more likely than you, Ryan. Pig! I know. Police brutality. Considering you called him a pig after he caught you trying to, you know, jab a knife. Are you okay? And, and she just walks away. You're just going to let her walk away. What the fudge is going on with this town? All right, Simon, we got some talking to do. A few more questions, if you don't mind. What would you say if I said it's been suggested that you were seen walking home with Kate after Atlas last Friday? What? By who? The same person who suggested that you wanted Kate out of the picture because you found out she was in the running to be prime candidate. But who said that? Just a question. I didn't think I was in the running. It was Ryan, wasn't it? I am in no position to say. It was Ryan. In other words, Simon, it was Ryan. Calm down. No, I can prove it. Kate's driving license, give it to me. Why? Oh, Kate's finally. Kate's driving license, please. See that pattern on the tape there? Let me show you something. See this pattern? Now look at that. It's the same pattern. This 
has come from the same roll of tape as this. So? So there's only one person that's taped like that. Ryan. He gave me this piece of tape when I was in his office once. Why has Kate's driving license got a piece of Ryan's tape on it? I have no idea, Simon. Where did you find it? Oh, by the lake. That's well, obvious, isn't it? Ryan was testing her. He was doing a boundary test to see how much she would do, how far she would go to be a prime candidate. But it all went wrong. <laughs> okay. It's one of the things we do at the course, right? You give something that's important to you to someone else, then they go and hide it somewhere. It's to teach you to not be bothered when you lose something that's important to you, all right? Kate what? gives her driving license to Ryan. Ryan goes and hides it somewhere down okay, the lake. this is a business school Kate practice, out. apparently. She goes down looking for it, probably drunk, and she falls in. Business school. I find that a bit far-fetched, Simon. <laughs> it makes perfect sense if you know anything at all about how Atlas works. But Simon, if you got the tape from Ryan, Kate could have got it from him. He told me he doesn't lend it out. He lent it to you. But I didn't kill her! Do a lab test on the card! His DNA will be all over it. And what if yours is all over it? <laughs> it won't be! I didn't kill her! <sighs> I'm sorry, just, just just give me a minute. I need I need some painkillers. Why are we not arresting him again? He ran. Simon ran. Where did he go in such a hurry? Is he trying to act as suspiciously as possible? The jetty? Nope. By the way, where'd that helpful hobo go? The unnamed helpful hobo. Can't go that way. Why did you lead me towards the woods? Nothing here. Seriously, why why towards the woods? Nothing here. Where else have I... I've seen that tape. I have seen that tape. I know I have. I feel like I saw it back here somewhere. I see it in the outbuilding. No, I didn't see it here. Where have I seen that tape? I didn't sticky tape. This broken pub window. Broken pub window. They taped over the broken pub window. That's where I saw it. That's why I remember seeing it back there. A uh, few more questions, if you don't mind. Have you seen patterned tape like this anywhere before? Oh, Ryan's got some. I know, because I borrowed it. When was that? A couple of months ago. Have you still got it? I don't think so. I haven't seen it since then. Months ago. Okay, broken pub window. was right! You last saw that sticky tape two months ago, is that correct? Yes. So how come you used it last week to tape over the broken window outside? That's the same tape. 
Well, I must have been mistaken. You see, the reason I'm asking is that it's exactly the same tape that was found attached to Kate's driving license, found at the scene. The tape that only Ryan has. Ryan, and of course, you. Being his wife. So what are you saying? Who's got the tape now? Do you know where it is? No. No, I don't know where it is. Why are you asking me about this tape? You seem nervous, Rebecca. Is there a problem? Well, you're practically accusing me of having something to do with that woman's murder, aren't you? I wasn't accusing you of anything, Rebecca. Unless there's something you'd like to tell me. No, I wouldn't like to tell you anything. OK, well, that's fine. Obviously, uh, we'll be swabbing everyone in the area for DNA, so if anything comes up on Kate's licence, DNA traces. What'll come up? Nothing will come up. Right, I've had enough. I've got to get back. Rebecca! Would you like to explain to me exactly what is going on? Which bit? The fact that some leggy bitch was trying to steal my husband? Uh oh I think you had better tell me what you know, Rebecca. Okay, you want to know what I know? Kate Vine seduced my husband and was going to blackmail him. Not only did she sleep with him, that whore did it just for his money, our money. How did you work that out? I heard her. I knew it was her arguing with Emma Bowman. Emma was trying to talk her out of it. And how did she come to be at the lake? She dropped that driving licence thing when she came in. She, she was drunk, she dropped her bag. I took it out to the woods and stuck it over the lake. And then I waited for her. When she came out, I... I told her where it was, that someone had just run off into the woods with it. You led her to the lake. She was... reaching out over the lake to get it. I didn't do anything, she just fell in. But you let her drown. It was dark. I, I couldn't see anything. I couldn't help her. Really? Did you try, Rebecca? Well, it was too late. She was just flapping about in the water. It was pathetic. She was making these gurgling sounds. And what did you do? I got a big stick. I just pushed her down with it until she stopped. Well, she was dead anyway. What did it matter? You killed her, Rebecca. You she pushed her down with my until husband. she stopped. She didn't, Rebecca. What do you mean? You got the wrong girl. Uh, who? She thought that Kate slept Emma. with her, her husband when it was Emma. It was Emma. Rebecca Rand, I am arresting you for the murder of Kate Vine. You do not have to say anything, but anything you do say may be taken down and will be used in evidence against you. Do you understand? Yes. So, it appears that Kate Vine's death was a tragic case of mistaken identity. But there are some loose threads here. What was Ryan doing with Kyle and that girl in the woods? What if I hadn't interrupted? And what really happened to Liam last year? Helpful hobo. It seems I've only scratched the surface of Atlas and the Rand business empire. Trying to find out about Paul Rand's past is like peering into dense fog. He gives nothing away and covers his tracks with military efficiency. However, what is known is that Paul Rand has a lot of connections in high places. Politicians, celebrities, business leaders. Perhaps James Wilson's ideas weren't too wide of the mark after all. I get the feeling there's still a lot more to learn about the Rand business really? empire. You're going to have to excuse us. Atlas is closed for the moment, but we'll be open again very soon. Thank you for your interest. And there we are. Mystery solved. Credits roll. And it only took us just under six hours. Holy cow, this is the longest stream I've ever streamed. So is there a sequel to this? Not currently. However, the actors that play it really want to do a sequel. Well, 
Um, however, they don't think that they'll be able to do another game. There's been talks of doing a series of, uh, a internet live action series is with these characters. There is currently no, no, nothing tangible to my knowledge. You're gonna have to check on your own. It's after midnight. I am quite tired, but this was a lot of fun. This was a lot of fun. I especially like the actors in this. Yep, funded by Kickstarter and Funa Films. Contradiction. Spot the liar. Copyright 2015. So yeah, it's been like three years maximum. Um, I would throw money at that. Well, you should. Well, you should look into it. <laughs> and there's the actors. Okay, Fum Fumna Films. Uh, you can look into them. Um, you can look into the publisher of this game. Um, but yeah, dedicated to Paul Darrow. Anyways, that's final sequence at the end that you just saw. I believe that was the actor for Jinx and the uh, actor. This was an experimental independent game made on a tiny budget. If you liked it, please leave a review of the game and make it yourself heard. Your support is vital if we are to raise funding for a sequel. Well, there you go. There you go. Um, if you enjoyed this game, please, if you enjoyed watching this playthrough, you basically watched me play through the entire game. I think it's worth throwing the little bit of money that it costs on Steam for it. Numa. Oh, Numa Films. Okay. But yeah. This was a lot of fun. I really hope it gets a sequel. Yeah. I, I really hope that this gets a sequel. And we did the entire game in a single run-through. That is the longest I have ever streamed. Holy crap. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Those of you watching the archive, I am sorry you had to sit down for five and a half or going on six getting close to six um we'll see you monday guys bye bye